Okay, so I haven't done a video in a while, which you can tell. Last video I did was exploring that abandoned Ranthea in Sprotborough, in town, and we got caught. And and the weather is absolutely miserable. Like I'm looking outside now, it's just cloudy and rainy, and just the weather's been tragic. So I haven't, I haven't really gone out to get any photos. I was basically out on Forza, because that's what I play this on. And I was messing about with the camera, because it's like I'm photo mode. I was messing about with photo mode, and I got some really good photos. And I've been having a look around, I've been messing about, and I've just, as a joke, made another Instagram account just where I upload stuff like that. Don't worry, that I won't, I'll post more of my photography account, my real one anyway, when it's summer and I've actually got stuff to do. But don't worry, there won't be a lot of this. I just thought it's something photography related, because I want to keep the YouTube about photography and not just like gaming and stuff, so it's, it's to do, something to do with the game, but mainly mainly doing it because there's photography involved and it's pretty cool. Well, in this video I'm going to teach you how to take photos in Photo Mode Forza, edit them, so this isn't something that's going to happen all the time, it's just something while, something to record while I'm not like out and stuff, out. But before we start, let me show you the before and after with some photos, which I will be showing you how to get in this video. So I'll just show you these now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I shoot the pictures and what I do to get the photos. However, please note this, if you're using an Xbox One X to do this, I would either recommend taking the photos in 4K and then editing them, because Xbox One X can do 4K, and if you're an Xbox One S or Xbox One, just take an old photo and edit them. But, but I'm using it on a PC and I'm on Max Graphics, which I can show you now. But yeah, now I'll show you how I get the photos. Um, okay, so I recommend getting a photogenic car, something that stands out, like you don't want this. Like that's just, no, it's not very nice. Like something like a photogenic car that stands out, like a car like this, all white RS3 sport back out with it, white rims, something different like this, Aston Martin, As Martin, Aston Martin V12 Vantage. Just get a photogenic car. And for this, I'm probably gonna go with Okay, so this is the car I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the F12 TDF, but I am going to change the front bumper because I'm not really happy with the front bumper. Customise your photogenic car, get a car, lower it, do whatever, change the colour. If you're in autumn, I'd recommend not going with oranges, it just in case it changes the colour of orange, it'll change the car. If you're in autumn, I would recommend going with, like, a blue. Okay, so what I recommend doing now is just driving around until you find a good location. So, so in this car right now, I'm just driving around, and I have a good idea of where I want to uh, get the photo, but as you can see right now, it's winter, and I don't want the photo to be winter, so... I'm going to try find a place now, which is, I think it's here. I'll sell up there. Uh, is there, and then I'm going to set up a race nearby. And then I'm going to go into the blueprints and make it autumn. So I'll show you that in a second. But this is the way I know. Create a blueprint. And I'll just do the Ferrari because that's what I'm in. Open event settings. All right, so season. Point autumn weather. I want it sunrise, clear, fixed, car class, any. Okay, that's what I want. That's how I'm going to have the settings for this photo. Okay, so while I'm taking the photo, I use 
a Xbox controller. As you can see, that's why you use an Xbox controller. Because it's just a lot easier and I just feel like I find it a lot just better. So Okay, so here are my photo settings. I don't usually change a lot, I usually mainly change the exposure, contrast and aperture. That's what I usually stay with. So right now I'm just having a look. So that's there, so I'm thinking for the first one, have it like have the archway there. It's like this. Now I recommend zooming in for depth of field. If you say zoomed out, there's not much depth of field. If you zoom in, there's a lot more depth of field in this. You might have to go back, but that's alright. So these are the settings. Okay, so if you're looking at the image and you feel great about the image or you feel really happy about it, then take the screenshot. But if you're on Xbox, click the Xbox button. I can't really show you because it's plugged in. Click the Xbox button, then click Y. That'll take the image. Oh well, that'll take the photo. For me, all I have to do is use GeForce to screenshot it. I prefer to take my shot a 90 degree rotation for Instagram or for background, like wallpapers. Okay, so once you're happy with all the photos you've got in Forza, you want to open up Lightroom, Photoshop, whatever you're editing. I'm going to be editing Lightroom, but if you're using Xbox, then you're going to want to, after you've screenshotted it, you're going to want to save them on your phone. Then transfer, if you do it on computer, transfer them by OneDrive, or just save them on your phone or computer, whatever you're doing, and edit them. I'd recommend if you're doing it on phone or iPad, do it on um, Lightroom on there, or something like that. The only one I've really used is Lightroom because that's just what I'm used to. But we're going to be using Lightroom. I'll show you what to do now. Okay, so once you've opened up Lightroom, you want to bring in all your photos, which I've done here. They're all here. 
These ones are for going to be for Instagram, a little sneak peek possibly, if that's one that gets uploaded. But then these ones are just for the before and after which you saw. But what I usually do is I have been working on some... Uh, I've been working on some presets and that's what these are. They're not, they haven't been made for like a game, they've been made for real life, how I edit personally, but some of them might work. The colors just might be a bit too strong, like I don't like that, or that, definitely don't like that, or that. Like I don't think any of these are going to work. Let's go to a day one. Let's try this one, because it's daytime. I need like an old rustic feel for this one. And that's a bit, that's like warm, as you can see, warm golden, but it's not old, it doesn't feel old. It's bright. Like, like I said, not all of them will work. I kind of class myself as lucky if some of them worked. Uh, none of them worked, what about these ones? I like that one. I'll go with this one. Red lifted mat. It's one I usually like. Say, so, yeah, let's see the amount. None all the way. Let's bring it all only up to like here. All right. So first, you want to start off with your basic edits. So that's like exposure, contrast, as you can see here. These are all your basic edits. So what I want to do is here. If hit J, if it's red, you can see that's where it's overexposed. So if I bring it, make it brighter, more pops up. Sometimes I like to see what. Lightroom can do, so let's click Auto. Hmm. I don't really like that. Control Z, bring that back. Control Z is a very easy like thing, so I find it really useful. Alright, so here's too bright. Hit J, so I know where that is. It's only there. So I'm going to bring the highlights down. So like here. And bring the shadows up, which will probably will brighten that back up again, but I can bring that down. I'm going to just speed up the rest now, so I'll see when I'm done. Under 
pressure sweaty palms ain't making it much better something about you feels so special pretty up from the minute that i met you Okay, so this is the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed something different, not just actual photography, something to do with like with the game. It's nothing going to be like regular, so don't like be excited for it or like think, oh, he's doing this now. I'm not. It's just something else I thought I'd do. A little test to see if people like it. If do, I'll do more. If not, if a lot of people like it, then I won't. I'm, at the moment, I'm just mainly experimenting what people like and stuff, but. I hope you liked how the photos turned out, I hope this helped you and if you're going to give it a go, send me the photos you get and yeah, if you, if you give it a go, send me the photos and I'll just tell you what I think. So that's the end. I never know how to end these but uh, I think I'll see you in the next video, which will hopefully be, I'm not going to say because I don't know when, so goodbye.